Coming up on HTV News, the Breaking Makers and Innovators Showcase is coming up soon, and we have a video showing what to look forward to. Also, stay tuned to see how the HHS pool is coming along. All of this and more on HTV News. Hello, today is April 3rd, 2019. I'm Griffin Anderson. And I'm Iris Lopez. Welcome to HTV News. This Saturday is the first inclusion prom at HHS. Come and be a guest with a purpose. The prom is from 6 to 10 p.m. and students will receive four volunteer hours for attending. On April 10th, see and support the creative items your classmates have designed at the 5th Annual Bricky Makers and Innovators Showcase. Here's a video showing what to expect. Hi, my name is Skylar Pfeiffer and I'm here to tell you about the 2019 Makers Fair. The Makers Fair is a place for students of all ages to showcase what they can create. This year will be the fifth annual Makers Fair. It's a place to showcase your talents and interests to the community. The Makers Fair will be held at the Hobart High School Fieldhouse. You must enter at door 18. The fair takes place on April 10th, 2019 and it starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 8. If you are a part of the Makers Fair, you need to be at the Fieldhouse at 5.30 p.m. At previous Makers Fairs, we had students bring in robots, homemade race cars, slimes, painting, drawings, and the radio and TV class will be participating as well as many other unique projects. You can still register using the link down below. Attention juniors and seniors, interested in attending prom? Prom ticket sales began this Monday and will end on April 12th. This year's prom theme is around the world. Let the adventure begin. Tickets are $40 per person without a t-shirt or $50 with a t-shirt. Tickets can be purchased during all lunches. Prom is open to all HHS juniors and seniors and HHS si sophomores can only attend if they went go with a junior or a senior. Students who wish to attend prom must have all proper forms on file and be in good behavioral standing. If you plan to bring a guest from another school, they must meet the guest requirements and must obtain a guest form from the office. Please see Ms. Craig or Ms. Slough with questions. Help the Environmental Club get a bench for the outdoor classroom. Save plastic caps, pop and water bottles, and bring them to your power hour. The power hour with the most caps collected by May 15th will win a prize. They need to have a total of 200 pounds, so please start collecting. Now over to Rebecca and Haley for HHS Sports Highlights. Congratulations to our March Athletes of the Month, Elena Palazzato and Zach Vode for track and field, and Jaden Deal for baseball. Way to go. Last night, our defending IHSAA sectional champs girls tennis team competed against the Valparaiso Spartans at home. Tonight, there will be a boys and girls track meet at Portage, as well as our freshman baseball team will be taking on Crown Point. On Friday, there will be a softball game at Boom Grove, as well as a baseball game at Morgan Township. Good luck to all of our athletes. And on Saturday, our softball team will be back at it again. But this time, it's against the Hebron Hawks. Now back over to Griffin. Thanks, Rebecca and Haley. The senior class trip to Six Flags is May 18th. You can get forms from Ms. Roach, Ms. Nelson, or in the main office. Your form and deposit are due back this Friday, so don't forget. Up next, our news team went out to report how far construction on the school pool has come along. Hey, my name is Skylar Pfeiffer, and today I'll be talking to you about the new pool that's being built at HHS. Here at HHS, there's a brand new pool being built that will be used for a swimming and diving team and many other recreational purposes. Thank you to our taxpayers and voters to help who helped make this happen. At HHS, we will be doing IHSAA swimming and diving, large invitational meets, PE instructions, health slash life fitness, alternative practices for all athletics, uh, athletic training, physical therapy and rehabilitation, lifeguarding and water safety, certifications, lifetime recreation class, cross-curricular activities, and career day. 
Not only will the pool be exclusive to students, but also com for the community. Community activities will include life, health, fitness programming, senior citizen open swim, learn to swim for our community youth, swim clubs, master swim programs, water recreation activities, including scuba, sail, and related activities, USA slash Indiana swimming meets, and large regional events for economic development. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School Radio and TV channel. And remember, remember only, only the, the best, best for HHS. HHS. Have, have a fantastic, fantastic week, everyone. everyone.